everyone welcome to free Handly made au my autistic life my name's nisi and welcome to the channel all right so you all have been following my journey on this blanket i'm gonna let you know where i'm at we're gonna spread it down on the table here in a little bit and share some info with you so stay tuned all right so first off let's measure this All right, so it's measuring 27 inches in width. Where is that length? That's width. Yes, 27 inches in width. Add that twice because I've got it folded in half. So that makes this blanket 54 inches in width. Right now we are at 14 or 15 inches in height. So I have a long ways to go yet, you guys long ways to go yet and I have gone through one entire ball or skein of pound of love which means I mean you see this blanket that means I have used see I have used 812 yards already so I'm gonna reposition the camera and talk to you guys for just a minute. I wanted to give you a close-up look at this blanket and stitches. So this is what's known as a cloud stitch and or blanket stitch. Now I will tell you, I have two stitch dictionaries and this stitch is not in either of my dictionaries. So I went to Rich Textures Crochet's YouTube and she had a tutorial on the blank blanket stitch. Um, the crochet crowd, Mikey, also had a tutorial on the blanket stitch. And um, I decided to go with um, Rich Textures crochet tutorial because she did a swatch. The crochet crowd was doing, I believe, like, um, I think they were doing a blanket or whatever. Anyway, I just liked, um, I liked seeing the tutorial in a swatch. For whatever reason, it just helped me. And sometimes you'll have that. So, just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, I didn't find this stitch that Sandrine um, had told me about with the blanket that she was making. Um, so, I did have to go to YouTube and look up a tutorial. So, it's very easy. You do this stitch in a multiple of three. A multiple of three. And basically, um, in the chain, this is the beginning chain in the chain right off the bat you're doing three double crochets I believe in the third or the fourth chain from the hook I believe I can't remember I'd have to rewatch it um, and then you go across now how many chains you do you need depends on how big of a blanket you want so my suggestion to you is um, measure your chain now I'm still trying to learn how to measure my chain because I think I'm getting one length and then by the time I do a couple of rows it's almost like my chain shrinks so what I'm starting to do now is I'm starting to go three inches longer when I initially measure something because of the shrinkage um, now Rich textures were saying hit that you know this does work up fast by the way you guys but it and it's not supposed to be a yarn eater but to me it is because I mean this blanket is only 27 inches in height right now and it's 54 inches in length and I've used a whole skein of 812 yards worth of yarn but that's also because this is a bigger blanket. Um, but it's gorgeous. I mean, look at this stitch definition of that. It's just so gorgeous. And it's going to be nice and warm. Um, and then in each chain, um, after the first chain, I see it. I think you do a, you do a single crochet and two double crochets in each stitch. And you go all the way across. And in the last, very last chain or stitch, you do a single crochet. Anyway, so that is this blanket, you guys. Sorry about that. The fur babies are upstairs. They're barking at something. Anyway, so that's this blanket. That's the, the info on the stitch of this blanket, you guys. Um, 
So this is how far I've gotten. I have a long ways to go still because I want my blanket to be, I wanted my blanket to be, to be between 54 to 56 inches wide. And then I want it to be 60, 60 to 65 inches long height, whatever you want to call it. Cause I want to make sure it's going to fit Mr. Timothy's body. Um, and I'm not, I don't know exactly how tall he is, but I know he's taller than me from what I remember. So that is the update on this blanket, you guys. Um, and stay tuned. Um, I will be showing the next, the next, uh, video I think I'll do is when it's done and, um, I'll do a, a complete yarn review and, um, just a, a overall, um, video on my experience in making this until then you guys have a great day. Always remember dare to be you dare to be different. Love from Montana. Mwah. Bye.